Welcome to Boxing Exposure TV. Today we're joined by middleweight Tommy Sweet T. Jacobs. Just before we start the interview, guys, please remember to like the video and subscribe. Many thanks. How are you doing, Tommy? I'm good, thanks. Thank you for having me on. No, you're welcome, pal. Pleasure's all ours. Uh, what got you into boxing, mate? Um, originally, my big brother started off when we was very young. Um, we moved to Harry Genetics, and the first thing he wanted to do was look for local amateur club. Yeah. Um, he asked if I wanted to come along and join him on the first training session. I, I did just for the sake of it. I had nothing else to do at the time, and literally never looked back. Loved every second of it, and probably didn't miss a training session for the next God knows how many years. Yeah. Uh, what was your amateur record like, Tommy? Uh, yeah, it was pretty good. I had um, 60 odd fights, won the vast majority of them. Probably lost about 13, 14, something like that. Yeah. Mainly on club shows, my losses. Um, won a few national titles, won the schools three times, won the NABCs, Box for England numerous times, captained them. Yeah, it was, it was very good. I was very pleased with my amateur record, to be fair. Was there any standout names on the England team with you, Tommy, when you were on there? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, there was, there, there was loads on there. Um, all, all your household names today were on the England squad with me. Amir Khan, George Groves. Um, when I was captain, Billy Joe Saunders was on there with me. Bradley Skeet, Ashley Sexton, um, Frankie Gavin, there was, there was loads of them. All, all the lads that are doing really well at the moment and earning lots of money and winning big titles were all on the England team when I was there. Uh, yeah, there's some real... catching up to do. Some real standout names there, aren't there, Tommy? Oh, definitely. Did, uh, did you have any favourite boxers growing up, Tommy? There's, there's so many from all the different eras, different styles and things like that. Yeah. But um, I, lo I loved Sugar Ray Robinson and I loved a bit of Pernell Whitaker as well. Oh, yeah, Pernell Whitaker. Sweet Pea. Yeah. yeah. Hence the, uh, the stolen nickname. Oh, is that, is that what it is? Well, it was my little brother who was phenomenal, boxed very similar to him. So people used to call him Sweet C. His name was Charlie. Right. And, uh, He's no longer boxes, and he said, "Look, use my nickname. I'm never going to use it again." Uh -huh. So I said, "Yeah, of course, by all means, I'm gladly. If it means I could be half as good as him, yeah, and uh, I'll take every bit of extra luck I can get." Yeah, of course, of course. So Tommy, you made your debut on Friday night uh, at the historical York Hall. Uh, I know for you, yeah. Tommy, personally, it was a long time in the making. But what was it like for you to make your professional debut? So I. It was absolutely outstanding. I um, it was very nerve-wracking. I think purely on the fact there was so much building up to it, it was such a long time coming. Yeah. And there was so much in the lead up to it. But it, it's one of the most phenomenal feelings I've ever had in my life. Uh -huh. Mainly down to the support that I had there. The, the fans that I had was absolutely unreal. They they took the place off. I've had people messaging me who've been saying, "Look, I've been going to." You were called for 20 plus years watching all the big names. Yeah. And they said they've never heard a, a noise like it. They said that, like, the crowd was phenomenal. Yeah. And, like, I can't thank them enough. I had such good support there and they, they were so good. And it was, a, it, was, it was an amazing experience. Yeah. Warming up in the change rooms thinking of who's been there before you. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a very historical venue, isn't it? No better place to make my debut. It's very fitting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was uh, Ryan Lyle your box, wasn't it? He's uh, the, the ex-professional kickboxing champion, I think, world kickboxing champion. Yeah, it was, yeah, Ryan. Yeah. Um, Scottish fella. Flew down, very game. And uh, by all accounts, give me a, a good tough fight. He's an awkward character. Yeah. He's, um, his style sort of nullified my work rate. Every time I wanted to get going, he'd dip down low, and then he'd getting close and grab hold and try and work on the inside, whereas I, I preferred to work it on the outside, but he just weren't having it. He was making it as awkward and as tricky for me as possible. I think he was quite a lot bigger than me as well, quite a bit heavier. Yeah. I think he was trying to trying to make it as physical as he can. Yeah. But by all accounts, I had a good, good, good fight, and um, the crowd were over the moon, the promoter was over the moon, and every, everyone's been talking about it non-stop, so... Yeah, I've I've seen a lot of reports and uh, good reports on social media about it, Tommy. 
A lot, yeah. of, a lot of noise at the venue. Good fight. So yeah, it was. It was fantastic. But... Sorry, carry on, Tommy. Oh no, no, I was just gonna say, yeah, the crowd was fantastic. I can't thank them enough again. They was, they was amazing. Hopefully, I can uh, bring the same amount, if not more, to each fight. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So obviously, you, you fought on Friday night. Have you got any idea when you're actually gonna be back out, Tommy? Or have you got a, an idea when um, you would yeah, like I'm, to be back out? I've, I've been speaking to the powers that be. Um, They've mentioned there's a, uh, there's a show in Nottingham, I think, I'm pretty sure they said early July, which has got a um, WBU world title fight on it. Right. And they were saying because of, because of how good Friday went, they want me on the undercard as that, as like one of the chief supports. Obviously, I'd like to get out before then. I should have some news Wednesday, hopefully, about a possible outing in May, which would be ideal do if I can have another one in May and another one in sort of end of June beginning of July yeah try and keep as busy as I can is it without sounding too disrespectful to yourself Tommy is it uh, with your age now is it is it really time to just kick on now after making your debut on yeah. Friday oh, of course yeah definitely it's um it is there's, there's, there's no being around the bush I mean I'm a lot older than I wanted to be so it is a case of get out there get as many bouts under my belt as possible yeah in a short space of time, get up the rankings and start fighting for the things where I should be. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I want to be as busy as I can. If the opportunity arises to take some away fights, then I'll be jumping on them with both hands. So I'll, I'll be getting out as often as I possibly can. So over the next 12 to 18 months, it's just a case of you really working yourself up them rankings then? Oh, definitely, yeah. I'm just going to try. I'm going to I'm gonna be chomping at the bit and asking them for better opponents every time. I just want higher ranking opponents every single time until they can get me into a position where I can start pushing for some titles as quick as possible. Yeah. How, how far do you actually think you can take this, Tommy? Are you British uh, level, European I, level, or...? Oh, no, I, I can take it to the top without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty confident within the next year, 18 months, that there ain't no one in Britain that I won't be able to beat quite comfortably. Um, I'll be down, I'll probably be down at light middle, maybe even well uh, if I can get down to it. Did once some um, was the weight goes was, in full swing. Was the weight an issue of the last fight, Tommy? Trying to make middle weight. Um, it, it, it weren't too much of an issue. Um, basically, where I had quite a period of inactivity, I was quite heavy. Yeah. So we chose to go in at middle weight rather than light middle, purely so I didn't kill myself making the weight. Yeah. And uh, made the weight fine. So um. Yeah, we'll be definitely looking at getting out and light middle next time, and then possibly for championships. I'd imagine maybe welter yeah. the day before weigh-ins. But um, yeah, I just want to get out there as quick as I possibly can. But um, within within a year, eighteen months, there ain't there ain't no one in this country I won't beat yeah. without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah. Give me a good, good, hard sparring training camp. Yeah. And I'll jump in there with anyone. Yeah. Is that you back in the gym now then, Tommy? From today I'm or? Back in the gym. Back in the gym tomorrow night. Tomorrow. I've had a, yeah, a few days off, nice little rest and re- recovery, and then I'm back in the gym full time again tomorrow. Good, good. Uh, just before we go, Tommy, have you just got a message for your fans? Uh, yeah, again, I'm absolutely humbled by the amazing support they gave me, and yeah. uh, I'd like to thank them, and hopefully, I'd like to see them all again. At every event I go to, nice. it was outstanding. My sweet team were absolutely brilliant. Good, good. All right, well, Tommy, thanks very much for your time today, mate. Very, Thank very you, appreciated. Thanks a lot. You're welcome, pal. Thank You're you. welcome.